Welcome to Carrier's Infiltration with Icon, a product that's very close to my heart because I believe this is one of the big innovations in dentistry. And in case you're wondering what Icon stands for, this is Infiltration Concept. So actually it should be Econ. Anyway, what I would like to talk with you today about is basically the current situation, then how can we detect carriers, because that's an important part in treating, how it works in the posterior and in the anterior, and finally, I'd like to give you a little bit of an outlook. So, to clarify one thing first, Icon is a very successful product. The success rate, the clinical success rate of using Icon after three years is 89%, and that is measured against a test group that just received a fluoride treatment. And this one was presented at the Congress, the Orca Congress in Lithuania. This is the big Congress on carriers. And this is one very important paper because the final proof for a product is the clinical application. And 89% after three years is a very, very good result. And actually it's getting better because more of the teeth that have not been treated with ICON will degrade and those with ICON will stay stable. Carious is an interesting thing. This article in The Lancet by David Salvitz appeared in 2007. And if you're not a regular reader of The Lancet, The Lancet is the most prestigious or one of the most prestigious medical journals in the world. So, in order to be able to publish something in The Lancet, you need to have to say something. And when David Selvitz published this article on dental caries, he said a few things that are common knowledge, like caries is still one of the most prevalent and chronic diseases worldwide. And you can get it any time in your life as long as you have teeth. But what is new and basically interesting about caries is that today we see caries as a process, a process that can be managed. And if we manage this, we want to do it in such a way that it is focused on the individual and that we do it in a way that preserves as much tissue as possible. And that is exactly what ICON is for. So if you look at this row of teeth here and you're a layman and I would ask you, where do you see caries? You would point to the last tooth and say, this one. But that's not the problem for the dentist. The dentist has no problem identifying that actually all of these teeth, except the very first one, have caries just in various stages. The problem for the dentist is when do I take the drill and cut it out? So especially in the very early stages where you would like to do something and already stop the process and manage it, up to now, there wasn't a possibility. And if you would cut into these teeth, you would do more damage than good. So basically, it was a one-way street and you didn't have anything to stop you entering that street. If prophylaxis failed, there was nothing you could do. And therefore, for this reason, for this basic concept of having a manageable process, what you want to do today is really keep an equilibrium between the remineralization and the demineralization. So teeth get remineralized by your saliva and they get demineralized by a lot of things, carriers amongst it. Now, when this equilibrium tips, if the scale goes down and you have more demineralization than remineralization, then you see all these bad effects. You see the acid hitting your tooth, cutting out the, the um, enamel particles, the, uh, and, and you get a hole in your tooth. This is basically what happens all of the time. And therefore, uh, in the next thing, we want to see the carriers detection and how can, that can help us in uh, identifying the problem and finding a cure for it. Thank you. So let's now look into carriers detection. Because clearly, when you want to treat caries early, you need to detect it early. So what can you do? 
Let me give you an example here. This is a 26-year-old patient that came to Dr. Wicht in his Cologne University clinic. And at a first sight, everything looks nice. Nice teeth, nice gums, and also on the posterior area, there's a little bit of caries there, nothing to worry about. Gums are healthy, everything looks fine, right and left, everything is good. Now, when you're a new patient in the Cologne clinic, the first thing they do is they take an x-ray, a bite wing. And on this bite wing, you see the following. Carriers, 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 carriers. All of the posterior teeth have carriers. And it's not just this side, it's also the other side. So what do you tell a patient there? Very sorry, we have to drill into all of your back teeth. That's a devastating result. Fortunately for this patient, most of the teeth could be treated, the caries stopped with the new ICON treatment. But this also shows that a visual inspection as such is not enough. Naturally, if you see something like this, bleeding on probing, you would check with another means. Now there are various other tools on the market but basically they don't work really well with ICON. What currently works well with ICON is a very old-fashioned thing, x-rays. So if you take these x-rays, they allow you not only to detect the carriers, they also allow you to see how extent and extensive the damage by the carriers is. And the problem, as I outlined earlier, with this carriers is that when you want to get to the lesion, which is a small defect in the beginning, you have to take out a lot of tooth structure just to gain access to this defect. And this is the same thing also when you look at a situation like the brackets. What can you do in this instance? I mean, there is naturally the option of doing a microabrasion, and that sounds nice, but what you're doing is with very coarse particles and hydrochloric acid, you're removing in 10, 20 seconds flat 100, 200, 300 microns of tooth structure. Easy. And the more pressure you use, the more you're removing. So that's not a really good option. What about veneers? Today you can do marvelous things with no prep or low prep or less prep veneers. But it's time consuming, it's very um, expensive for the patient and it's not the least invasive procedure that you can do. So the next thing, let's look how ICON works and how it can solve these issues. So how does ICON work? The intriguing thing is how can we improve the situation? That was what sent some people more than nine years ago thinking about the situation because also, and ideally, we would like to do it without drilling. Not that drilling as such is a really, really bad thing, but it starts the death spiral of the tooth. So you have a healthy tooth, then you get carriers, you get a small filling, the filling needs to be replaced, it's a larger filling, then you finally get an MOD filling, you get an inlay, an onlay, and a crown. And then finally, the root canal treatment, an implant, the tooth is gone. So what we want to do with ICON is postpone that first initial invasive treatment. If we can do this, if we can postpone it 10, 15 years into the future, the patients will still have their own teeth. And considering that, it's a very good investment compared to an implant. And therefore this very bright and clever idea, how did it evolve and what does it involve? Well, the easy thing about this is, if you look at this here, this is a caries lesion. You can clearly see this brown, ugly part on the enamel, and then that uh, purplish part here is dentin. But what you can also see on top of that lesion is a, a layer that we call the hypomineralized layer. And this layer prevents, which is a good thing, ingress of bacteria into the lesion, but it also prevents us from bringing the uh, resin into the lesion. So in a first step, what we need to do is etch it away. And once we etch it away, we have access to the lesion. And now we can have a very low viscous resin 
infiltrate into that lesion and seal it, reinforce it, and stop the carrier's process. This is the basic idea of ICON, very simple. And now, let's look at the basic steps. So the first step, as we've seen, is an etching step. We etch that top layer away, we gain access to the lesion, we dry the lesion, which is very important to gain access to that porous system, and then we infiltrate it with this resin and we light cure it. That's basically it. And this is what Edwina Kidd described also as the seal is the deal. This is what cariologists believe today, that if you can seal the lesion, then um, the carrier's process will be stopped. It's just like with this insect that got trapped in the amber millions of years ago and still is there for us to see today because nothing could get to it. No water, no air, no bacteria, no nothing. Maybe we could start Jurassic Park 4 out of this. So this is a very intriguing thought. And the thing that plays the most important role on this is capillary action. Capillary action is a force that, for example, brings the water from the roots of this tree up to its highest leaves. And I have a small video here to show you a little bit about this. So we have these three capillaries here, big one, medium one, and a small one. And you can see on the small one that it's going, it's still going, while the others are finished already. It's still going, it's still going, all the time going. So we learn a bit about this. First thing we learn is that a big capillary is very quick in sucking up the liquid. But we don't have big capillaries, we have small capillaries. And for this reason, we need time for our product to infiltrate the carrier's lesion. And another thing to think about, what would happen if I would use something more viscous, not just water? Would the big capillary be able to suck it up? Mm, maybe but the small one wouldn't stand a chance. So the viscosity needs to be adjusted to the capillary lesion that we are dealing with. And to show you one more thing, I have another video here, um, which is a carefully carved chalk tooth from our application department, and we're holding a text marker to it. And as you can see, the chalk tooth is sucking up that liquid from the marker, and this is a remarkable thing because the porosities in the chalk, they are actually comparable to those in a carrier's lesion. And the same thing will happen to our icon when it is applied to a lesion. And it's not that we are pushing something into the tooth. The tooth is actively taking it up and sort of healing itself. And this is really, really different than all the other treatment options and aspects that we have today. So. With that being said, let's look into how we treat a posterior lesion, an interproximal carriers, and then go on and see the anterior. Thank you. So the most important feature for ICON is actually to treat interproximal carriers. That is the main reason it was developed, because this is a real problem field in dentistry. Let me um, show you a few things. I mean, you can watch a nice video on the treatment of, um, with ICON on our website. I'm just showing you some pictures here uh, to clarify a few issues on this one. So, the main indication for ICON is you need to have non-cavitated lesions. They need to be in enamel and they need to be created by carriers. And if you can see icon still within the first third of dentin on your x-ray, this is an icon case. Anything beyond that is filling therapy. Now, this is a picture here to show you what happens if you treat this interproximal caries. If you do it, if you use icon infiltration, then you avoid a big problem that dentists otherwise have, and that is re-establishing the contact point. In this picture here, um, if you would drill in and cut out the carriers, it would mean that you have to re-establish that contact point. And that is one of the more difficult tasks. So 
Icon does not change the anatomical uh, features of the tooth, and that's a good thing in this case. We recommend that you use rubber dam during the treatment. We recommend to use that because we want a dry working field, an absolutely dry working field. We take great care to ensure that everything is very, very dry, so rubber dam helps you with that. And you want to use it for protective reasons. Um, in some cases, non-latex rubber dams um, can actually disintegrate. So for this reason, we recommend also that you use a latex rubber dam because all latex rubber dam work and are not a problem. The first step that you do is cleaning the teeth and also cleaning interproximally with floss. So this may sound strange, but this gives you additional information. And the additional information you get is how tight are the teeth. Because the next step will be to place rubber dam and to wedge the teeth slightly. And to wedge the teeth here means to separate them so that you can get a hair in between them, 100 micron about. Now, if the teeth are very tight, this can be quite uncomfortable. In the video it says, this is only felt as a small pressure on the teeth by the patient. But one of my colleagues, more than four years ago, was one of the very first ICON patients. And she had very tight teeth. She wanted that treatment because she believed in the treatment concept, but she can still recall how nasty it felt when that wedge was placed. So if you place the wedge, do it in a step-by-step -step thing. And if you want to avoid using the wedge altogether, you can use these orthodontic rubber bands and they work nice as well. But now let's assume everything is fine, you've placed the wedge, you separated the teeth about 100 microns and then um, this will be like stretching. I mean, when you go on a, on a sports tour you will stretch your muscles and in this case you are stretching Sharpe's fibers to adjust to this. And then everything is fine for the patient. So. We separated the teeth, we can now apply the unique icon applicator. This is basically a foil pouch which has outlets, tiny holes, about 70 tiny holes on the front side. This is the green side of the applicator. You want to put this in between the teeth and the best way to do this is with a saw-like motion. So you place the applicator and you apply the etchant. This is hydrochloric acid gel for two minutes. And after these two minutes, you suction off the etching gel, remove the tip and rinse at least 30 seconds. And now it's time to dry. And the drying process will be done with very high purity alcohol. This is 99% pure drinking alcohol. So if you do a lot of icon treatments and you don't use up all the icon dry, you can collect it and at the end of the year you can have a big office party with cocktails for everyone. Now, seriously, this is an important step. So dry the lesion with the alcohol for 30 seconds and then air dry. You've seen that in the video, if you have something that is more viscous, it has difficulties going into that small capillary. For this reason, because Icon is a light cure resin, shut the lights off. Otherwise, the material may cure prematurely and then gel up and not be able to infiltrate into these tiny lesions. And now it's time to do the first infiltration. So, apply Icon for three minutes. You might have to reapply a little, but you'll see that uh, Icon is taken up by the tooth. And after that, remove the tip, clean with floss and you'll find that you don't get any of these ugly excess messes that you get with a bonding agent. So um, because Icon is so nice and fluid, you can just blow it with your egg uh, syringe and clean off the rest with floss. Wonderful. And then, just to be absolutely sure that everything is fine, we cure it for 40 seconds. And after this, it's time for the second infiltration. This second infiltration is a safety measure. We want to make absolutely sure 
that everything will be sealed. Remember Edwina Kidd? The seal is the deal. So we do this again, and in this case, we only do it for one minute. And after this one minute, again, we clean off the excess, we light cure for 40 seconds, and that's it. You infiltrated the tooth, you sealed the lesion, and you stopped the caries in the anterior. And you didn't remove any tooth structure, and you didn't need any burr, and you didn't need any syringe. Thank you. While the anterior treatment addresses a real medical problem, the anterior treatment is a nice side product and challenges an aesthetic issue. And if you want to have a good look, I recommend that you go to DMG America's website or the doctor's website and look at this video and see a live treatment of a patient in the studio. Actually, they have already featured ICON three times and this is proof that this is a real interest of the public and um, giving you good insight. So, when you want to treat a white spot, an anterior white spot, it is very important that the diagnosis is right because not everything that looks like a caries white spot is actually created by caries. In a case like this, you have a developmental white spot. The kid fell onto the tooth, um, the enamel developed in a, in a non-regular way and that gives you this whitish appearance. Or you can have white spots, for example, out of malnourishment. Very rare, naturally, in Western countries, but this could be a case. And you can get carriers-like white spots by fluorosis. It looks like this, but it's, it's actually overfluoridation at a very early age. So these cannot be treated with icon. And as a rule of thumb, if you dry the tooth and the surface looks glossy, don't try an icon treatment. If you dry the tooth and the surface is chalky white, go for it. Now, this is a very special case here. So we did everything right. We placed rubber dam. And now we are going to etch the teeth. So the basic treatment is the same as for the posterior teeth, just you don't need any wedging in this case, for example. And you have a different tip. In this case, the tip is um, a nice brush type thing. So you apply the etchant on the teeth for two minutes. And then you rinse them off and dry the tooth. And this is what you should see. The brown spots have disappeared. If you don't see this, this is a very essential stage, um, which I would call the etch and watch stage for the treatment. This stage gives you the option to see the future aesthetic outcome of your treatment. Because when you apply now ethanol, which would be the drying step, you would see that the ethanol seeps into these lesions and makes them partially disappear. So if you see this effect, everything is good, but say you don't see it, a portion of the tooth does not absorb the ethanol and does not vanish, then re-etch that part of the tooth. All in all, you can go through three etching cycles. And then, if everything looks nice, you commence and do the infiltration. And I want to, to show you a little video here again where we can explain what happens. So you can see the lesion because the refractive index is very different from enamel. If you place the alcohol, it sort of starts to adjust and the real magic happens when you apply icon. Then all of a sudden your glass rod magically disappears because we've mastered. We have restored the translucency of enamel. That's basically what we're doing with the icon treatment in this case. And then, naturally, you polymerize with light 40 seconds. During application, it's naturally equally important that you turn off the light to avoid premature curing and the necessity that it can't go so, so well into the lesion. So after this polymerization, you clean the teeth and you do a second infiltration. This is just like with the anterior, uh, posterior um, nothing different there. And this is the results that you get. So this looks pretty good, but 
If you're a very critical dentist, you might say, ah, there are on the gingival some areas that didn't completely disappear. However, this is a big, a huge difference for the patient. And let me show you one more thing, because you can, instead of using rubber dam, you could use something else. You could use um, a liquid dam. So this is a different patient, and liquid dam was applied, and you did the etching and the rinsing and the infiltration, and this is the outcome. So this doesn't look nice. You see, because the liquid dam was applied on the teeth, it protected the lesion, the lesion didn't get etched, you didn't remove the surface layer, and you couldn't infiltrate and make the lesion vanish. Now, it's not totally lost. They placed rubber dam and they re-etched these areas, naturally got it off and infiltrated it, and this is the end result, a very beautiful smile. So this is the secret of ICON. You can do something for everyone. You can do something for those patients that have that problem in the posterior teeth. And you can do something for those people who want a beautiful smile and are looking for an adequate and inexpensive and, and fast method of giving them back a beautiful smile. Thank you very much.